Hey guys, it's Mr. Casual, and in this video we're going to be talking about how Chael Sonnen um, pleads no contest to a misdemeanor charge in 2021 Las Vegas hotel case. I don't, if you, I don't know if you guys still remember that case where Chael Sonnen allegedly you know, attacked like a couple, a guy and a woman, like a wife and a husband. And he also allegedly attacked the security guards and you know it was like a big case at the time. So we're going to be reading an article on mmenews.com. Um, this video we're going to be doing a voiceover because you know I'm at work right now so I got to do it like this. So let's read the article and on mmenews.com. Please subscribe to the channel because it helps the channel grow. Let's know you guys like my videos and my content. It helps build the community that I'm trying to build, okay? So mmenews.com. Chael Sonnen pleads no contest to misdemeanor charge in 2021 Las Vegas hotel case. Sonnen has agreed to a plea deal. So he pled, so he pled, so he, he agreed to a plea deal, right? Former UFC title challenger Chael Sonnen has reached a plea agreement with Clark County um the uh, nv um prosecutors stemming from an alleged 2021 incident at a las vegas hotel you know nobody really knows exactly what happened we didn't get no real video footage or anything so there was like a lot a lot of things like rumors going on nobody really knew exactly what happened articles were saying different things at the time but we have an idea you know you know let's continue sonnen pled no contest to misdemeanor charge of breaking the peace after allegedly attacking a couple in a four seasons hotel hallway the Las Vegas Review Journal was the first to report the news. The misdemeanor charge replaces four previous battery charges related to alleged incident. Sonnen will pay a seven hundred fifty dollar fine and, and and wasn't present in court on Wednesday. Wow, he has like the best lawyer. That's crazy. Seven hundred fifty dollar fine, and the misdemeanor charge replaces four previous battery charges. So he got a misdemeanor and seven hundred fifty dollar fine for pleading guilty to, to assaulting like five people or whatever, four people. That's crazy. That is so crazy. I'm, he has a really good lawyer. A misdemeanor charge that replaced four four previous battery charges. Look, look at this. The misdemeanor charge replaces four previous battery charges. And for that alleged incident, Sonnen will pay $750, which is nothing to him. And he wasn't even present. He wasn't present in court. Well, that's crazy. Let's continue reading. That is insane. Sonnen allegedly... This is what the, now look at what it says. Sonnen allegedly attacked Christopher and Julie Stelp Flug at the hotel on December 18th, 2021, um, before uh, attacking multiple security guards. He was briefly detained by responding police officers. So that's one person, two people, and a couple of security guards. It was like four or five people he attacked. Like, I mean, the security guards tried to break it off, because you know, whatever, and then they ended up getting allegedly hit too, you know? Let's continue. Chael Sonnen reaches resolution 21, 2021, Las Vegas case. Let's continue. Sonnen hasn't publicly addressed the case since pleading no contest. Sonnen retired from MMA at Bellator 222 after falling um, to Lyoto Machida by second round TKO. He lost back-to-back -back fights to Fedor Emelianenko and Machida before opting to call it a career. Sonnen then turned his, his attention towards a broadcasting career and was um, indefinitely suspended from the ESPN programming while his case unfolded. It's uncertain if and when he'll return to the air. Well, I'm guessing now that it's a misdemeanor charge, right? And like $750, maybe ESPN... Okay, we'll take him back. Because this is like that's like a, that's like that's really good. Like I'm not saying what he did was good. I'm saying to only get a misdemeanor charge and a seven hundred fifty dollars. That's 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 a win, you know. Because he was facing like a shitload of charges. I remember at one point it said that he had like eleven charges or something, and now just a misdemeanor and and a seven hundred fifty dollar fine. It's nothing. That, that's like wow. That that's the whole article. So yeah, um, I remember. I think I remember when they suspended him on the ESPN thing. That was crazy. Bro, it could have been like this. I said this is like a win for Chael Sonnen because he could have been in j prison. He could have been in jail. He assaulted four or five people as a professional fighter. You know what I mean? He could have been in prison, bro, jail for a long time. You know, being a professional fighter and assaulting four or five people. One of them was a woman. That is really bad. Bro. Like it would have been really money. It could have been a lot worse. You know, I like I like Chael Sonnen, so I'm glad that, that it turned out the way it did. Like as in like he got you know. He got out of it without any serious jail prison time or, you know, so whew. I, I kind of knew he was going to beat the charges or whatever, because Shale Sonnen, bro, he's super famous, has a shit little connections like like let's like like an average person is not going to beat 11 charges, battery, like four battery charges. And then originally said 11 charges, you know, and you assaulted a woman, security guards. You know, like a regular person that wasn't famous and rich is not gonna beat those charges with a misdemeanor and seven hundred fifty dollar fine. Let's, let's be let's be honest here. You know, but I'm glad I'm glad he was able to like basically beat the charges. You know, um, but yeah, guys, remember, um, ninety five percent of you guys are not subscribed. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, because when you subscribe, let me know you guys like my videos and my content. 
Um, I also made a cash shop, and my username's in the description. If you want to donate, you can donate. If you don't want to donate, you don't have to, you know, just, but yeah. So anyways, guys, be safe, everybody, and um, take care.